Hello everybody. My name is Jim Reed and I am the Director of Research and Development at Rockware. Thank you for attending this webinar. This is the first installment in a series of discussions on the new features in Rockworks 16. Here are the topics that which will be covered in the next half hour. We have muted all of you for practical purposes. If you have questions, you can type them into the GoToMeeting chat box and we'll answer at the end of the presentation. It's going to be a pretty boring uh, PowerPoint type slideshow, but I'm going to talk as fast as I can and try to get through some of the major features here. So let's start out with um, the network licenses. It's a lot more powerful than it was before and uh, you can basically check users out much more readily if users get offline. Um, or let's say they forget to log off, it's going to take care of that. Next is Unicode support. So we can now support non-Latin alphabets within our output. Now that's just for the output, that's not for the menus themselves, but you can now put uh, print out your maps and diagrams and logs and cross sections in um, whatever uh, character set you want to use. The um, user specified menu settings mean that it's much easier for multiple users to uh, access the same database at the same time and still retain their own settings. The installation program offers a lot more options for user file locations and sample file locations. Very helpful for users on a shared network. Rockworks now offers more feature levels so you can purchase just the programs that you need. Specifically, Level 1 is available at no charge. It contains all of the Earth Apps programs, Rockplot 2D, Rockplot 3D, and ReportWorks. Level 2 costs $700 for a single license. This contains all of the Level 1 features plus the Rockworks utilities. Level 3 costs $1,500 and it contains all of the Level 1 through 2 features plus the Borehole Manager, Maps and Strip Logs, um, it does not include the modeling tools that are in the borehole manager. Level 4 costs $3,000 for a single license. It contains all of the level 1 through 3 features plus all of the borehole manager menus such as the modeling tools. Level 5 costs $5,000 for a single license. This level contains all of the level 1 through 4 features plus scripting and SQL database support. Here's a summary chart. You'll also see this in the program window and on our website. Rockworks 16 installs as trialware with level 5 functionality. After the two week trial period expires, the program will revert to the freeware with level 1 features, the Earth Apps programs, and the Rockplot 2D and 3D, and ReportWorks display programs. The Earth Apps are, ex are accessed via a new program tab in Rockworks. The Earth Apps includes eight new menus for creating Google Earth displays of spatial data points, lines, polygons, images, flyovers, cell maps, and survey maps, and for extracting data from Google Earth for listing in the Rockworks datasheet. The Earth Apps point maps display geographic locations with icons, circles, cones, cylinders, and strike and dip symbols. The Earth Apps line map programs display in Google Earth 2D and 3D lines, polylines, tubes, and pipelines. The Earth Apps polygon map programs display in Google Earth polygonal shapes, four corner claim blocks, public land survey leases, public land survey sections, and predefined country and U.S. state boundaries. If you have raster images such as JPEGs, PNGs, etc., you can display these as floating or draped along the ground, as vertical images for, say, cross sections, and as legends in Google Earth. The flyover menu creates simple to complex flyovers for display as tours in Google Earth. You can create simple forward looking flyovers, simple centered facing flyovers simple flyovers spiraling in from space, simple golf ball paths, or these are sort of parabolic traces, and simple virtual tours between XYZ points. You can copy a place mark in Google Earth and create a quick flyover in the Earth apps. You can also copy a path in Google Earth and create a quick flyover in the Earth apps. 
great command driven flyovers and advanced circular flyovers. Create maps of spatial data in Google Earth to illustrate average values, cumulative values, distance from measured values, frequencies of measurements, maximum values, minimum values, interpolated values showing a weighted average, and you can compute and display point locations from survey data. Compute and display polygon locations from survey data. And you can use the Earth Apps extraction tools to read, copy, or save data in Google Earth and record the coordinate locations in the data sheet for processing within the utilities. You can extract points, lineations, individual polylines, multiple polylines which are saved as separate RWDAT files, individual polygons, and multiple four-point polygons, and multiple polygons with many vertices which are stored in separate RWDAT files. New to Rockworks 16 is the ability to define your coordinate system and units in your, co in your projects, databases, data sheets, models, and graphics. This makes it easy to share your data and output with GIS systems and, and to display it within Google Earth. If you don't want to georeference your data, you can simply select a local coordinate system. You'll define your project coordinates when you create new projects and open your old Rockworks 15 projects. Database map and depth elevation units can be mixed. So for example, you could have your XY in meters and your depths in feet. You'll define the units for your output dimensions, area, volume, and mass units too. The Earth Apps and Utilities data sheet has an added row for coordinates and units, or XY, and for units, elevation, distance, etc. Coordinate conversion options have been added to Borehole Manager import tools. You can reproject coordinates for existing data projects, so don't worry about messing up. Volume reports use project units. We've made a number of improvements to the Borehole Manager database. The location table has a new layout for better organization and you can easily customize lo location fields on new tabs for greater flexibility. You can reference downhole data tables to either the ground or color elevation. We've also got some improved hole sorting options so uh, you can show the top of boreholes and you can easily group them together. You can search for boreholes, hide disabled boreholes. Lithology, stratigraphy, water level, well construction descriptions and comments are now memos with unlimited content. You can also easily reorder your iData, tData, pData, itex, ptex columns. You can also hide them. We've made a number of improvements to the Earth Apps and Utilities data sheet. Row check boxes. Unchecked items will not be processed. These are new filter tools to enable, I'm sorry, there are new filter tools that allow you to enable or enable or disable these boreholes in bulk. You can specify new column types in the data sheet, define coordinates and units. You can store metadata with your data sheets, including projection information and number format. You can save and load datasheet layout templates. The old format ATD files can be opened and resaved in the new RWDAT format. Be sure to assign necessary coordinates and units when you do that. We've added new map diagram types and made a number of improvements to existing diagrams. You c the biggest one, I think, is you can create easy P data, I data, stratigraphy panels, and strip log sections. These are created between the logs themselves, not from a 3D solid or a stratigraphic model. They're just basically interpolating between adjacent holes. You can plot distance labels or actual coordinate labels in profile diagrams. You can add horizontal and vertical grid lines to your sections and profiles, either in the background or the foreground. You can display faults in your sections and profiles. The, there's some new stratigraphy tools or rules that make it much easier to handle missing formation tops and bases. We've added some new map types, single and multiple polygon maps, claim maps. 
There are many new import and export tools in Rockworks 16. You can easily, and I do mean easily, export to Google Earth your 2D diagrams and your 3D diagrams. We've added coordinate conversions for all data imports, new AGS format import for geotechnical data. You can save import templates for many of the import programs to simplify repeated imports of similar files. Last but not least, we've added a lot of new functionality to the 2D and 3D viewing windows. You can easily, I say again, uh, basically export your Google Earth or your diagrams to Google Earth for in, from both your 2D and your 3D windows. In this case, we're looking at a cross section that was exported out to Google Earth. Improved drawing tools for hand drawn cross sections use automatic smart snap points in your logs and snap to lines and polylines so you don't end up with gaps in between your correlated stratigraphy. We've also added vertices to polygons and polylines so you can edit easily edit your contour maps. You can define a default graphic font of your choice and make changes within the display window now. We also include fills in your 2D patterns and transparencies. Save any number of viewpoints in your 3D scenes for quick retrieval of a specific view. Store coordinate information and units in your 2D maps and sections and your 3D scenes. That's it for this session. In future webinars we will address some of these in more detail. If you have subscribed to our monthly newsletter you'll be notified of these as they are scheduled. I want to leave you with this slide that lists ways to get more information about the program. Our next in-house workshop, which will be held in Golden, Colorado, is scheduled for next week and we still have some spots available. Also keep in mind that we're always available to schedule custom online training sessions. Thanks again for joining. We'll go ahead and take questions now and I'll uh, leave you with, with this one thought. What I just summarized in 15 minutes represents the last four years of the lives of six people. So we're uh, pretty excited to get this thing out the door. Thank you.